Okay, my friends, Roger today making a huge claim that light is itself gravity. <laughs> now, when I say light itself is gravity, I mean the black portion of light. These are the black balls of gravity. This is what a photon looks like. There's black balls and white balls. You are about to see gravity in action. The black balls pull the white balls in. The black balls have no energy for themselves. The white balls are the strong force. The black balls are the weak force. The black balls of gravity. Okay, my friends, Roger McFossil University, in under five minutes, probably three, I will be able to explain to you what gravity is and actually show it to you. Now, electron flood theory says there is nothing that exists in the entire universe except electrons. And they say that there's protons and neutrons. They're actually constructed of electrons. 1837 makes a proton, 1838 a neutral neutron. Now, when you see this electron, that it is right there. You see the black and the white dot? The black and that would be white. Black and white. Now, this is a green electron. Now, if you stuck two of these together, they would make a photon. Electron is the smallest particle that I know that exists that's stable. And that is it right there. Now, two of them together, boom. Make a, make a photon. So there's our photon. However, when that impacts violently, the black ball itself walks away from the white ball. We're going to see that now. But this is what electron flood theory states about the nucleus of everything is made entirely of electrons and entirely electrons are made of a positive and a negative. The positive portion has no value whatsoever. It is gravity. It's the black ball of gravity. The white portion is the explosive ball of energy They're made of electrons just like these. Each one of these is an electron let's say. Now if they were all electrons just like this, they would try to attract to each other as we saw with the light particles. So the black balls come together, that's what makes atoms. Now atoms are only stable at certain frequencies. So this might have a 2,000, the next one might have 6,000, the next one might have 15,000. That's how they grow in size, astronomically. So we know that every one of these little bits and pieces is attractive to every other one of these little bits and pieces because we can see it. The black has no problem being attracted to the rest of them. Black is the gravity. Okay, I have like a bazillion videos on this, so I'm going to go quick. That's red pulse laser. That's the acceleration pulling the particle out from its own wave, concussion causing the separation of the black and the white particles. These are the black and white particles right here. Just like I showed you in the green. Same thing in the red. Now, let's see what happens to them when they concuss, and then you'll see the black balls, which want to be next to the white balls, so they are going to create a bigger and bigger mass as you go along. This is light, which is the smallest particle there is. You, you need 1840 or so before you even start to create hydrogen. So, this just explains that the black wants to be with the white, and light is everything. When light hits something, it warms it up. Obviously, it's getting incorporated. And this is the concussion at the Venturi. And the black balls, as you saw before, were attached to the white. They are now away from each other. And they don't care about being touching each other. But the whites will not come close to each other. They explode. However, when they get together, a black and a white, it will combine with another black and white. And they are coming back together out here to create particles again. So the black attracts the white, the white attracts the black. Black is the combiner of particles. Gravity. The more blacks, the more they will attract. 
You see, the blacks want to get together. The whites want to explode. Maybe we should have paying attention to the blacks. Black is beautiful.